Hi everyone, I'm Lene. Welcome to my channel, Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. I aim to provide content that includes fashion, fashion hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, DIYs, and a little bit of cooking. And what I have for you today is a picnic haul. We are planning our 4th of July picnic and we these are the items that I have bought for the picnic. Our main course on the 4th of July is going to be fried chicken and then we'll be making sides to go along with that. And I also have included like our paper products and things like that that go along, dishes, things like that that go along with a 4th of July picnic. And what I'm going to start with is this tote bag because we all need something to put our items in. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. It says Home of the Brave. I love the flowers in the pot there with the flag and the shiplap kind of design in the background. So this tote is available at Dollar Tree. And I will be putting my items in there after I describe them. Now when I was looking for napkins at the Dollar Tree, they did not have uh, the flag pattern. So what I did was I picked up red and blue and then red and white check. And these red and white check ones, they are by the brand Party. And there are 18 in here. These are also by the brand Party. And there are 20 in each of these. So we're going to have red and white check along with red and blue. So I think that'll look nice together on our 4th of July table. Then I also picked up this tablecloth. And this has the red truck on the front with the flag uh, in the back of it. And this uh, tablecloth is 54 inches by 108 inches. It's a plastic table cover. And I thought that would be perfect for the 4th of July. Then I picked up some nice heavy duty plates. I actually got these from Sam's Club. And you get 55 in here and they are the Members Mark brand. You can see that image on there. There's a flag with some fireworks and some popsicles on there. So this will be a nice big plate um, that you can use for fried chicken and then all the sides, like potato salad and all other kinds of salads. The nice big oval shape. Yep, and these are available at Sam's Club. Okay, then what else I got from the Dollar Tree? I picked this up. This was actually in the education section, the teaching supplies. Um, it's a little caddy for crayons and scissors and stuff like that. But I picked it up so that we can use it for our utensils. So we'll have this on our table with the forks and knives and maybe some napkins in here. So, yeah, I thought that would be a good use for that item. Then I'm going to be making a dip uh, for the 4th of July. And so I bought this platter. This is a tray from the Dollar Tree and I will use it for my dip that I'm making. It's a dip that you spread all over and I'll be showing you the ingredients. Then I picked up these bowls. Now I'm gonna open these, these are from Kohl's. I really like these. I got them on sale, they were originally uh, $20, but I got them on sale, then I had Kohl's cash. I ended up getting them for like $2. What did disappoint me in these bowls, however, was they have these stars around the edge, but the ones that are inside are plain. I'll still use them, but um, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have the stars. But you do get four, and they each have a lid. So you get a one cup, you get a two cup, and you get a three cup. And then you get the four cup that has the stars, which I do like. I was just as disappointed that the rest of the uh, bowls didn't have that design on there. So I'll be using this for my fourth. I have another dip that I'm going to make for the 4th of July. So I'll be using these bowls for that. Okay, now we're going to move on to the food. Uh, instead of just getting plain uh, or bags of chips, I thought this would be a good idea. I got this 28 pack of Frito-Lay snacks. You get four bags of the plain potato chips, three of the barbecue chips, five of the nacho cheese Doritos, five of the crunchy Cheetos, three bags of Funyuns, 
five bags of original Fritos and three bags of chili cheese Fritos. And you get 28 in here. So this is something that I tried uh, differently this year. So we're gonna give this a whirl and see how people like it. They can fill up their plate and then just grab a bag of chips to go with their meal. Okay, then I'm gonna be making a dip, more of a dessert type of a dip. And I'm going to show you what I need for that. Um, I need Miss, Mrs. Richardson's hot fudge sauce. So I got that. I'll be using cream cheese with that. Marshmallow fluff. And that is for the dip. Then you just use different things to dip in there. Like, and so I got honey made graham crackers. I have Lorna Dunes. I think those would be good dipped in there. And I'm not saying what the dip is. I'm going to wait until my, what I'm making for the 4th of July picnic video. So these are the ingredients. To see what these actually make, you have to watch that video. So okay, these are the Lorna Dunes. Then I also got some marshmallows. So marshmallows will be on uh, the tray as well with the dip, to dip that in. So there'll be the dip and then there'll be Lorna Dunes, graham crackers, and marshmallows to dip in there. All right, now we're gonna move on to our next item. So for our next item, I'm going to be making another dip and I'm going to be putting it in the tray. I'm gonna be putting it in this tray and what that dip calls for is cream cheese, Cool Whip, I use the Kroger brand, it's just as good, and cherry pie filling. So for this dip, um, I also will be using the Honey Made graham crackers, but you can use any brand. I just happen to have the Honey Made. So we'll be using this, the Honey Made grams with this dip that I'm going to be making. And that dip will go into this tray. And then as another side, um, as part of the main course, this isn't uh, as a dessert, I'll be making something using these crescent rolls, using these crescent rolls and cream cheese. I'm also going to make a charcuterie board. And for that, I have these peanut butter filled pretzels. I also have some white fudge covered flips. I have some Twizzlers licorice, as well as some mini pretzels. I'm also going to add fresh fruit. I'm going to add strawberries and some blueberries, and then maybe some of these graham crackers and Lorna Dunes that'll be going with my other dips. But for my charcuterie board, I'm going to have fruit and then these items. Now we'll move on to our last item. So as part of the fun, I picked up these photo props and one is like a movie theme. It has popcorn, 3D glasses, the movie set, clicker, and then some champagne glasses and a couple of tickets. And this one is like a selfie, and I'm gonna use it for group photos as well. It has cheers, let's party, celebrate. So I use these, I bought these for when we take our pictures. When we take a group photo, we can all grab one of these. Um, or if people wanna take selfies, they can grab these and take their picture. But I thought that would be a lot of fun to have at our 4th of July picnic. I also have a couple of other things for my charcuterie board. I have these Reese's peanut butter cups that are wrapped in the patriotic foil. And I also have these red, white, and blue peanut M&Ms and these will be on my charcuterie board as well. Okay, well that concludes this picnic haul. Hi everyone, I'm back. I thought I was done with my picnic haul. Um, well, I really was, but then I went to Walmart and I found a few more things that I wanted to add on and show you. Um, just for starters, some red, white, and blue cutlery. There's 30 pieces in each of these, and these were $1.48 each. But then I also found 
this platter. I thought this was really nice. Uh, this was $3.98. And I thought that was gonna be really cute to um, place some of our hors d'oeuvres on uh, for our 4th of July picnic. And then what else I found that I'm gonna add to my charcuterie board are these Hershey's red, white, and blue candy bars. I thought those were really neat. Okay, well I hope you all have as much fun planning your 4th of July picnic as I'm having. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July with your family and friends. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And if you're wondering where I got this shirt, this is from JCPenney's and you can find it in my JCPenney haul. And I will link it below. It is linked down below in the description box of my JCPenney haul. You can see that it says the Beatles on this side and has a picture of them on this side. Okay, everyone. Well, that's a wrap. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.